Okay, well, I've been uh, messing around in the shop today um, and uh, finishing up the uh, G-code for my table, uh, cutting, the, cutting all the parts for the uh, vacuum plenum and the grid for the table. And I thought I would come out to the shop and give it a shot on uh, Mach 3 uh, with the standard exporter and see how it went. Uh, uh, when I got out, I noticed I had a problem. Uh, I kicked up Mach 3 and um, powered the system up, and I had another sensor go bad. Uh, it was the one that was mounted here, so I've taken the the uh, X++ uh, sensor off and put it here so that I could get it the Y gantry um, zeroed out as well as uh, these remaining two that I have uh, so that I could auto square the gantry um, so I don't know what's going on um, I don't know if that's kind of a fluke coincidence um, or if there's something in a cold power up sequence that causes a problem with these sensors or or what so anyway I've been working with Aaron to try and get the problem resolved uh, he's going to send me at least a couple more sensors. Uh, those are the two there that are dead. So, uh, anyway, they put a little cramp in my style today. So, uh, <laughs> anyhow. Um, so, anyway, I've, I'm just kind of pretending like uh, I had this uh, uh, set up zeroed at the upper corner. Um, this corner uh, is my datum of, of the cut material I'm just pretending that it's there and I've got a uh, uh, a test pattern there um, that is uh, boring out the holes for the uh, vacuum lines on the bottom plenum and uh, I'm using a quarter inch what would be using a quarter inch uh, uh, upcut spiral bit for this so uh, anyway I uh, thought I would just show the whole thing working on a program uh, still not cutting anything but I'm getting close so uh, anyway hit cycle start there goes the spindle I think I need to uh, add a dwell command to let it dwell on spindle startup for you know, 10 seconds or something like that, so that the spindle has a good chance to, you know, warm up and uh, uh, get up to speed. So, uh, I did set the uh, spindle to 12,000 RPMs in the code, and it's dead on in the VFD. So uh, that's that's good and working. So goes ahead and does its thing and uh, it should shut off the spindle here at the end there you go that's it so pretty cool uh, I'll talk to you guys later bye